Hello and welcome to the Hoverboard Tuning Trilogy, or should I say Optical Refinements. Anyways, there we go, that's my Hoverboard directly ordered from China and it cost me around 250 bucks if you're wondering. I had it for around one week and as you can see it's already kind of screwed, but that's okay. In fact, we'll need these scratch marks as indicators for the first refinement. A minimalistic scratch protection. And all you need for that are screws, hex nuts and washers. Well, and of course a hoverboard. Let's get to it. Taking it apart and as you can see, this one has only one battery. It's probably a cheap one. God damn it. You also need to unplug all connections. Don't forget to mark them. And there we go. Riding a naked hoverboard, Terminator style. By the way, you can switch it on and off just by connecting the contacts of the switch. Moving on, finding the perfect spots for maximum scratch coverage. Marking and drilling and sawing off the screws. The first attempt pretty much failed though. The gaps are way too narrow to put the hex nuts inside, so I had to turn them around. and I also had to sink most of the screws to be able to close it again. And that's how it works. If it rolls over, then the screws prevent the body from touching the ground. And that is a very vital feature for the next step. There we go, that's the finished scratch protection. Check out part 2 right here and hit the like button right now and leave a comment or question below cause I love answering them. And subscribe for the viral vibe, oh yeah.